Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Handy from AndroidAuthority.com. You know, smartphones have replaced pretty much everything when it comes to listening to music these days. And if you want to know which smartphones are the best ones for music, well, that's the question we're going to try to answer right now. Okay, folks, so we tested a grand total of seven smartphones, and they are the BlackBerry Priv, the Galaxy Note 5, the LG V10, the Motorola Droid Turbo 2, the Nexus 6P, the Xperia Z5 Premium, and last but certainly not least, the ZTE Axon, which we included thanks to its 24-bit Hi-Fi DAC, which made it a prime candidate for this test. To give us an overview of how each smartphone performs, we put each headphone jack through a Focusrite 2i2 interface and then ran the popular RightMark Audio Analyzer, checking for frequency response, noise, and distortion characteristics. We'll start with noise and crosstalk, which should push well through the negative 96 decibel floor offered by the 16-bit audio if any of our high-quality DACs want to come close to realizing their touted 24 or 32-bit performance. Crosstalk isolation is excellent across all of the models, but none of our smartphones made a notable move past negative 96 decibels. The Xperia Z5 Premium clocks in at a decent negative 100 decibels, while the ZTE Axon falls way short at just negative 92 decibels. It's by no means noisy, but it seems to defeat the objective of offering a 24-bit DAC, and LG's 32-bit DAC boasting is just outright ridiculous. Now, to be fair to the smartphones, when approaching negative 100 decibels, we are starting to push up against the noise limits of our testing equipment, so to avoid complicating the results, we'll simply test with 16-bit audio from here on out. Next up is dynamic range, which is the difference between the loudest and the quietest output. We should see all of our smartphones hit the full 96 decibel dynamic range afforded by our 16-bit signal test, while some smartphones do, three of our models fall short. The Nexus 6P, the Xperia Z5 Premium, and the ZTE Axon cannot reach the target, meaning, according to our resident audiophile Rob Triggs, the circuit noise is lightly making its way to the signal path. This isn't an unexpected result from a compact device with lots of potential for interference, but the circuit layout and the leading phones appears to be better thought out. The total harmonic distortion results are excellent across the board, with all of the handsets putting in performance well below 0.004%, which is really good by the way. The ZTE Axon is the winner by a small margin, followed by the Priv and then the V10. The real test for music though is intermodulation distortion, because this shows the amount of distortion generated when playing back multiple tones. There is a far greater disparity in this test, with the LG V10, Nexus 6P, and the ZTE Axon all taking the lead coming in at, or below, 0.01%. Galaxy Note 5 and the Xperia Z5 Premium are very close at about 0.012%, while the Priv and the Droid Turbo 2 are the worst performers. It should be noted that such small percentage differences are going to be very tough, if not impossible, to tell apart, so pretty much all of these phones are right about tied. Frequency response is as flat as you can get across all tested smartphones, at least when connected up to our interface. Interestingly, the Droid Turbo 2, the Nexus 6P, the BlackBerry Priv, and the LG V10 seem to have a low pass filter on their DAC output with a negative 3 decibel point at just over 18 kilohertz. This is likely designed to remove any high frequency interference from high speed signals such as the codec clock without interfering with the audible spectrum, or it could be something in the software. It is a bit disappointing to see that none of the higher resolution devices offer a noticeable bit depth advantage, but this just highlights the difficulties in fitting low noise audio circuits into a mobile phone, if nothing else. With that said, the 32-bit LG V10 performs consistently well across all of the tests, followed closely by the Galaxy Note 5 and the Hi-Fi ZTE Axon. Of course, no audio test would be complete without a good old-fashioned listening test. Robert Triggs, who did most of the work on the research for this video, performed the audio test as well. He used a pair of AKG K550s along with some flak encoded music files. To summarize his findings, he found that the LG V10 to be the best in the listening test with the Note 5 and the Xperia Z5 having favorable experiences. The Droid Turbo 2 and the Nexus 6P were among the worst performers with the Priv and the Axon falling somewhere in the middle. If you want to check out all of Rob's findings for this test, which I do encourage that you do, you can find his entire experience in the written companion which is linked in the video description below. The last test we performed was the rear speaker volume. Most people use this for games, videos, or music when headphones and Bluetooth speakers aren't readily available. Now it is important to remember that decibels are a logarithmic scale and for every 10 decibel increase results in roughly doubling of the perceived loudness of the sound. This makes the LG V10 the loudest of the bunch by some margin, offering up double the peak volume of the BlackBerry Priv, the Xperia Z5 Premium, and the ZTE Axon. At a whopping 100 decibels,
controls, we honestly don't recommend sticking your ear right next to the speaker on that phone. Given the decent performance of the ZTE Axon in the headphones test, the speakers were kind of a major disappointment. We didn't have any complaints about the other phones, but the Axon speaker was horrendously tinny. When you take the whole picture into account, the LG V10 is the clear winner. It comes out as the best performer in both the jack and speaker tests, and it just sounds really good. Second place in a very close run contest was the Samsung Galaxy Note 5, with the Xperia Z5 Premium and the Nexus 6P all putting in good performances. The Galaxy Note 5 just edges out ahead in the benchmark and speaker tests which puts it in second place and the excellent sound on the Z5 Premium earned it a third place entry. Sadly, the Axon phone's disappointing dynamic range and speaker results hurt what was otherwise a lovely sounding phone, but we have to assess phones on their full package and not just part of it. Unfortunately, the Moto Droid Turbo 2 didn't stand out in the listening test and had the worst distortion results, so it earned itself a spot on the bottom. If you want to see all these charts again, don't forget to check out the written version in the video description below and feel more than welcome to converse about our findings in the comments below. Once again, I'm Joe Handy from AndroidAuthority.com. While you're here, you might as well subscribe to the Android Authority YouTube channel. If you're hanging out for a minute, we have a couple of awesome videos for you to watch right over there, and they're also linked in the video description below for you folks on mobile. Finally, don't forget to check out the written companion, which is in the video description below, and keep an eye out because we're going to have a whole bunch more of these best of Android videos. As always, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.